curve deformations. Okay, so what I have here is a curve, and I took that curve and extruded it a few times. This is based upon a previous video that I did. Um, if you're new, I just went curve, bizarre curve, hit tab. You can move these around using the move tool. You can move the rocker arms, or if you want more, you can hit E on the keyboard, and it will do this. Okay, and I can straighten it out going like this. Tab again gives me this. Also, what I want is this geometry to be shaped like this weird question mark thing. So I go to the geometry, which has division marks going all the way around. Okay. I just go in here and add a modifier called curve and choose the object to be the curve. Since I want it in the Y direction, I choose Y and ba bam Works out really good. Now, there's a secret to it. Notice how I put the origin two-thirds onto the curve. Okay. Watch what happens if I move the origin. Transform origin to geometry. Oh, not so good, right? Okay. So if I choose right about here with my 3D cursor, I can go object, transform, origin to 3D cursor. And it turns out really nice. And this is fun to play with. It'd be fun to animate that. Okay. Well, there's an alternative. It's not as fun to play with, but let me undo this modifier. And let's move this out of the way. The other alternative to this is create a curved circle. So let me do that. Add curved circle. Hit tab. Highlight all the points. Hit vector. Okay. This will allow it to be more like a square. All right. Now grab the curve, go into curve options, and choose bevel object correlating to curve circle. And there we are. Now what's the advantages of this one? Well, go seven on the keyboard. Let's say I want more of it. E on the keyboard will allow me to now extrude higher amounts of pieces off of it. There we go. And then when I want this as a part, I can go object, convert, mesh from curve. Now it's a 3D object. Okay, so two ways to get that kind of rope cylindrical type look for things. If you multi-res that, divide it, you now have a tube. And I, we had covered that in a previous video, but just in case uh, you wanted to know and have it relate to curves and how much things you can do with curves, here it is all in one video. All right, enjoy, and let's go on to the next video.